You may have seen a new mid-size SUV driving around the metro recently, and you're probably wondering what that model is. Well, that model is the Photon Top Lander, and we're here to take it for a drive. If you want to know more about this new vehicle, come join me. I'm driving the Photon Top Lander 4x4. This is the first time I've driven a Chinese-made 7 seat SUV. It actually competes in a very high-profile segment against the likes of the Fortuner, the Montero Sport, the Ford Everest. And like those vehicles, it's also based on a pickup. It's based on the Photon Thunder pickup. It is actually a pleasant surprise because I didn't expect Photon to come out with the with this level of refinement and development already in its very first SUV. The top lander is powered by a 2.8 liter Cummins common rail diesel engine. It makes about 350 newton meters of torque, which is pretty good. The thing with the top lander now is that it only comes with a 5 speed manual. There's no automatic yet on nice winding roads like this. It's actually nice to have a manual, you have better control, especially when you're going downhill, you have your engine braking. It's easier to overtake with a stick. But when you're in traffic in Metro Manila, then that's the time you're gonna look for an automatic. Although Photon says they'll be introducing it eventually, but no word how soon. Inside, it's par for the course as far as a seven-seat SUV is concerned. There's very good legroom, headroom for the front and middle passengers. You can fold up or fold down the third row seats depending on your cargo or passenger requirements. The dashboard is very contemporary. You've got a two-din size touchscreen panel for your audio and video. It can actually play a DVD by a auxiliary slot or USB or Bluetooth. It's also very competitive when it comes to those electronic chassis aids. It's got electronic stability control, ABS, EBD, all those traction control stuff, hill descent control, hill start control. So it will go up a hill, you can let go of the brake and the car will not roll back. And hill descent control will actually help you descend steep, rocky inclines without you even having to step on the gas or the brake. The car will just creep down by itself. This is also a good looking SUV. It's not as flashy or sleek or as cutting edge as the new Montero Sport or the Fortuner, but it's definitely very, very contemporary, especially coming from a country that's not really known for making SUVs. There's one minor quirk that I find in this vehicle, and that's the fact that there are no power window switches on all three doors. Everything is with the driver. So every time your passengers need to open their window, the driver has to be the one to open it. I've driven other Photon vehicles, and they have power window switches on all doors. So, I don't know if that's just a quirk in this particular model. Well, I hope you learned a thing or two about the new Photon Top Lander. I hope you enjoyed the drive as much as I did. This is Manny de las Reyes from Wheels. This car generates about 173 horsepower and 216 newton meters of torque. That's enough to actually make this the most powerful Civic ever outside a Type R.